Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to import a swim model to your InfraWizard project on AutoCAD. After importing the model in our example, we'll create a complete set of longitudinal profiles for the network using the automatic profile detection feature of InfraWizard. InfraWizard can directly import the native IMP file format of swim models. You can use this format to import your models from many drainage system modeling applications like EPA Swim, InfoSwim, and Sewer Gems. Here I have an EPA swim model for a stormwater drainage network. To import it, I'll go to my InfraWizard project and select Import Swim command. Let's import the model to a new network called SD. I'll then browse to the model file and pick it. And here I need to select a pipe material for the circular conduits and another for the box section conduits. InfraWizard needs this because every pipe in an InfraWizard project should be associated with a material from the pipe library, but a swim model doesn't define the conduit materials. I'll then click OK. Here's my new network added in Scion Color. This is my new SD network, and I already have two pressure networks we created in previous sessions of this tutorial. I can control the format of the network plan and the annotations that appear on pipes and nodes using the plan styles here. And you can notice that new crossing annotations were added at the crossing points between this network and the two other networks. I can control what crossing annotations to be displayed from the crossing points panel. I'm here asking InfraWizard to hide the old annotations of the crossing points between the networks PW and FF, and to keep showing the annotations of the new crossing points between the network SD and the two other networks. I can use the move command to relocate a crossing annotation, and it will remain pointing to the crossing point. A crossing annotation indicates the properties of the two crossing pipes and the net vertical clearance between them. I'll then create longitudinal profiles for my network from the Manage Profiles panel. I'll select my network, SD, and click Add New. From here, I'll select Automatic Pipe Selection, then select the option Based on Node Names to let InfraWizard recognize the profile routes based on manhole names. If I'm not using a certain naming convention for the manholes, I could use the option Based on Network Hierarchy. This is the list of the profile lines that InfraWizard could recognize. I'll select all of them to have them drawn in one go. I'll also select to show the line name of my profiles on the plan. And finally, pick an insertion point for them. OK. And here are my profiles. Let's have a closer look at them. You can see here that the profile shows the main sewer line, the lateral pipes connected to it, and the crossing pipes of the other networks. The profile data bands include the pipe diameter, length, slope, and material. It also shows the ground levels, invert levels, and other data. I can control the format of the profile using the profile styles. You'll notice that the profiles we previously created for the network PW are marked Needs Update because new crossing pipes of the SD network need to be displayed on them. I'll click Update Profiles to update all of them. If we go to the plan, you'll find that InfraWizard is showing the profile names on the line alignments. Finally, let's get our 3D BIM model with a quick export. Here I've got all pipes and manholes assembled as 3D solids. I can export this model to an NWC file using the command NWC out so I can add it to a Navisworks project. Thanks for watching. See you in the next session.